You are not as productive as you want to be because you don't have a system. If you've been using Notion and not seen a change in your productivity, or you don't have a system at all and feel overwhelmed with life's tasks, or maybe you've been using five different apps and feel completely scattered, or maybe you've spent weeks trying to build your own Notion dashboard, stop wasting your valuable time and implement a proven system that works. Headquarters is a simple, practical, clutter-free productivity system that focuses on functionality and is not overwhelming. With a simple front-end yet powerful back-end that handles your tasks, projects, life buckets, notes, resources, journaling, time tracking, scheduling, and much more in one dashboard. Plus, it's built around the top 10 productivity methods. I would know because I've tried pretty much every productivity method under the sun. With over 1,500 users and a five-star rating, Headquarters is a proven productivity powerhouse. So here is my dashboard. Let's have a quick look through every single different component that makes up Headquarters. This here is your calendar, and I've added two weeks worth of fake example tasks here. So we have the month view here, and we have the week view as well. Now I've implemented energy scheduling into the system. Here you can see the flow state. So here we label the tasks if they are flow state, a quick task, an easy task, or a personal task. And what this allows me to do is plan out a sustainable week. Here you can see I have the rule of only having two flow tasks per day. This just lets me plan out a week that is actually sustainable and won't have me drained after two days of working. Plus, I can quickly see what project this is relating to. So right customer survey is to do with the survey project. And of course, if I click on here, I can then click directly onto the survey page. And this here is the project page. It shows me all of the relevant tasks, all of the relevant notes, and all of the relevant bottlenecks all in the one place where I need it. Then up here, we have the daily planner. So here you can see my day today, and I can also see my day's context. So I can actually time block my day here. So I can say 8 a.m. go for a run, 9 a.m. photo shoot reminders. Then here under day's context, I can see it broken down by the different life buckets. So I can see job here, and we'll have a deeper look into life buckets later. Now you might be wondering, what is this importance and urgency here? We've talked about the state and the buckets and the project, well, this is to do with the Eisenhower matrix. So under this order tab here, we can actually see all of the tasks that we haven't completed yet. And instead of just randomly doing our task list, this is being automatically organized by what is most important and most urgent. So if we add another task in here, example task, and I say that this is important and I say that it's urgent, you can see it jumps up in the queue here. We have example task. This is sorting this out for me so I know when I should be doing what tasks. We're not just randomly doing tasks for the sake of it. We are assuring that A, we are doing what's most important and what's most urgent first. And then we are actually scheduling that in to create a sustainable work week for us. So at the top, we have our day view, then we have our month view, then we know all the tasks that we haven't completed yet. And of course, if we tick these off, they get removed from here. So here I can see my project. And as you can see, these all have no status. And if I want, if they have a deadline to it, such as mom's birthday, then I can simply add a status to it being deadline. And obviously I can do this for all of these different ones. So sales report, for example, the life bucket here, that is to do with my job. The status is it has a deadline and the deadline is let's say the 21st. And I can also see these projects if they are overdue, which bucket they belong under. So we here we have job, here we have the ones that don't have a life bucket. So if I wanna add presentation under the job one, I just click here and say job and now it appears here. My favorite ones, the ones that I've finished, the ones that I've archived and all the projects. Then here we have your workspaces, which is everything you'll need. Here you can find all of your quick notes. So you can add a note directly into here, example note, but also you can add one at the very top here. So we don't have to scroll all the way down. If you wanna take a quick note, just here, quick note, and then I can add the relevant life bucket. So let's say that this is to do with my job and the project is to do with the presentation. And let's say there's no specific topic of interest for this one. Then we can add the note here, note goes here. Now the best thing about this is I've now added this note without getting distracted, without going to another page. And now when I'm working, I will find the relevant notes as I do that project. 
So that was to do with the presentation. If I click on the presentation, I can now see that quick note here, as well as all of the relevant tasks and all of the relevant bottlenecks. And of course, if I scroll down and go to the job life bucket, here I can see all of the relevant tasks to do with my job that I haven't completed yet, my entire day today just to do with my job, and I can see all of the relevant projects just to do with my job, and I can see all of the notes just to do with my job. Everything is showing up where I want it to show up. Under resources here, you can add in all of your different resources from courses, webinars, podcasts, videos, coaching, articles, files, and even the specific topic. And you can see if you are currently consuming it, if you have finished it, or if it is something that you want for the future. Under personal here, you can see all of the stuff just to do with your personal life. Under the timetable, you can plan out your timetable here, which is connected to your projects database. You can create an ideal schedule. This exercise here has been super useful for me. Now we also have a page called Move the needle and time track. I've tracked pretty much every minute of my time now for the past six months and it has changed my life. Under time on projects here, I can see how much time have I spent on each project. On time on buckets, I can see how much time have I spent in total on each bucket. And then of course, on month buckets and month projects, I can see how much time I've spent in this particular month on that particular bucket or project. So here I can see career 8.67 hours. Time tracking is a game changer. It lets you know where your time is going so you can reflect and make actionable changes going forward to actually make progress, which will make a huge impact on your productivity. Now, I wanna show you one of my favorite features. If I click on plus here, I can do a weekly review. There's also a monthly review and a journal entry, but let's do a weekly review here. And what it does in the weekly review is automatically load in all of the different tasks that I've completed this week. So I'll just open this up full screen. On this page, I will do what I call dynamic journaling. And I haven't seen this anywhere else. I get all of the different tasks that I've completed this week shown in my journal. So as I journal here and answer these questions, I am literally seeing what I've done. And not only that, I will now use this page to literally find the 80-20 rule. This is the Pareto principle literally made into a software. So let's say that upload new blog, I had it as not important, but let's say hypothetically, this got me three new customers. Okay, well that was a really big impact, this new blog. So even though I thought it was not important, Let's say it actually moved the needle. Now I know where I should focus in the future. So I can fill out the rest of these questions here and I can add to my bottlenecks list as well. Now, if I click on the move the needle page, I can see here all of the tasks in the past that have moved the needle for me. This is where my time should be going. I now know what I'm doing. That is the 20% having 80% of the impact. So I can reflect on this and schedule time for tasks like this in the future. And for your time tracking, you can do that directly on here. So you can either do it directly in your calendar or you can do it up here under my day today. We can add here 60 minutes and now it gets added and tallied up directly automatically into my time tracking page. If you want to go from feeling unproductive, unorganized and unmotivated, then headquarters is a game changer. Here are just some reviews. Save yourself hours, if not days, and start getting important shit done game changer. The simplest brain I have seen that does so much. It's exactly what I've been needing from my notion. Focused on allowing you to get things done. This is so much better than what I had tried to set up by myself for months. This structure is superb. It's easy to access and easy to dig deeper. An amazing template that's very clear. Finally, I can get things done instead of building out Notion. I love it. The most productive and focusing template I've ever seen the best template. And the list goes on, plus I keep getting emails with incredible stories from users. This template includes everything you'll need, a calendar system with a week view and a month view, a time blocking feature for you to plan out your day, the Eisenhower matrix task list that automatically organizes your tasks based on urgency and importance. You can avoid context switching by using today's context feature, a project hub, and a simple project template that automatically generates all of the tasks that are relevant in here, all of the relevant notes and all of the relevant bottlenecks, your notes dashboard, your resources hub, the move the needle dashboard, 
the time tracker broken down by buckets and months, the habit tracker system where you can see all of your habits if you've actually been doing them, the open loops center where you can see all of the unfinished projects you have and your unfinished tasks, the bottleneck center where you can see all of the bottlenecks you're struggling with, the mobile HQ page that is designed to work perfectly for your mobile, a much more streamlined and simple dashboard for what you will need on your phone, a topics hub with all of your topics of interest, a weekly review and a monthly review that uses dynamic journaling to show you the tasks you've worked on that week, the life bucket station with all of the different areas in your life, the job page which has all of your tasks and the projects and notes to do with your job, and so much more. Take action now to get organized, productive, and motivated. By now, you have watched hundreds of productivity videos. Now it is time to implement those methods directly into your daily planner. If you want to see the full 30-minute tour, then click on this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Download it now and join the growing 1,500 users to get organized, productive, and motivated.